It is time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Houston Chronicle says a ship channel near Galveston is open this morning after a major oil spill. Ship traffic was closed for three days. A barge collision may have caused nearly 170,000 gallons of oil to leak. But bad weather today could complicate the cleanup. The Washington Post says the Supreme Court appears divided in a case it heard yesterday on birth control. At issue, whether businesses can be exempt from providing contraception to employees for religious reasons. Birth control coverage is required by the health care law. The court's three female justices disputed claims by two corporations. The Los Angeles Times says air pollution kills one in eight people around the globe. According to the World Health Organization, that's about seven million victims each year. More than four million of those people die as a result of indoor pollution like cooking with coal or wood stoves. The Wall Street Journal says the maker of Candy Crush Saga is worth $7 billion after pricing its IPO. The company King Digital raised half a billion dollars in the sale. The shares are expected to begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange today. And the Buffalo News remembers Bill's founder and sole owner Ralph Wilson, who died Tuesday. Wilson paid $25,000 to start the football team in 1959. He helped establish the American Football League and played a key role in its merger with the NFL. Wilson was inducted into the Football Hall of Fame in 2009. He was 95.